good. Did you get it from the shop? Looks nice. Can I put it down here? And we've got a, even brought a bib for our baby. Good. <laughs> I just thought you said you didn't Daddy, want it. Okay. You need some more. You need some more. You can come to the shop with me one, one day. No, Alistair, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. The most important question is. Is it a girl or is it a boy? Now, those are profoundly important questions because it determines the whole way in which that child, that infant, is related to, not simply by the mother, but by the whole surrounding ambience. There we are, Walker. There we are. Oh, I'm eating out. <laughs> whether it's seen to be pretty, whether it's seen to be sweet, what is seen that the child is able to do, how one describes the activity of the infant is gender linked in everybody's mind. If you try to remove um, the word girl or boy from, from the conversation, it's impossible to talk about the person because people only come in, in gendered categories. I'm making a cake now. <laughs> Motherhood is bringing up children to fit in with society. It's Im imbuing your child with a, the experience of emotional life that will fit in with all the expectations we have. <laughs> Ten years ago, people thought far, far more in this old, symmetrical way that it was fathers who influenced daughters and mothers who influenced sons. And I think it, it was the experience of doing clinical work for 15 years that allowed us to see, no, mothers parent both children. And the particular job that mothers have to do with their daughters means particular things in that relationship, produces particular difficulties. I had to leave school at 13. Um, worked in my father's fish and chip shop because my father needed help. So I really had very little education. I always felt that education was for other people, particularly my children. I wanted them to get the education that I hadn't had and didn't even think that I was capable of. But when um, my marriage broke up after 30 years, I finally decided that I could try. And actually worked very hard for three years and got a BA at the age of 56, which I feel very, very pleased about. How, how old was I in that picture? Um, and you must have been about eight. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, though, that on this one you're actually <laughs> copying my pose on that yeah. one. So you changed a lot from eight till eleven, three years, well, from a very small child to <laughs> well, a prospective woman. <laughs> I've always been very, very foul. I think is the only word I can use about the relationship I've had with my daughter and my son. And it's just recently that I've that I've been aware that